In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a plugin called Elementor Dynamic Content, and what it does is it allows you to show or hide content based on conditions, specifically dynamic content. For example, we have this custom loop that we built in a previous tutorial that I've linked in the description down below, where we add advanced custom fields data into our individual items inside of our loop. But what if these aren't required and they're blank? Well, then what you have is something like this. You've got a big gap where you don't want the gap to be because you don't have the data, but you still have the space that the data would have contained or a, a portion of it. And then you have this spacing issue. It's not too big of a deal when it's just one or two things, but what if you had a whole list here or pictures or images that just weren't there because it wasn't a required field? Then you have some serious design issues. With this plugin I'm gonna show you, we can take this to this where it looks totally normal. It looks like there was nothing there to begin with. And then if there is data in there, it looks like this one over here. And everything just looks as it should. And again, that's a plugin called Elementor Dynamic Content. I'm gonna show you how it works right now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you like that kind of thing, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. And now let's get into this one. So first, let's take a look at what we're working with. We have three posts. Go to edit any one of these. We have a title, content, featured image, excerpt, and listing info, which is the asking price and a square footage. Those are advanced custom fields. So we have the advanced custom fields plugin as well. So we have that here. And it just has listing info, and those are the only two things. They are both not required for this example, so they can be left blank. And that's where the problem arises. And then left blank, we have a space that they would have filled and it throws off our designs. And lastly, let's look at our plugins. We have advanced custom fields, LA custom skin, which is also called Elementor custom skin. This is what we use to add ACF fields to the loop instead of Elementor. Then we have Elementor free and pro. Pro is required because that's what allows us to make templates and add the loop to our pages. So for this example, we're gonna add a new plugin and we're gonna look up dynamic conditions. This is a free plugin. It's got a lot of great reviews, good number of downloads. We're gonna install it and activate it. If this is a live site, I recommend you back up your site first just in case something goes wrong. It's not often something goes wrong these days, but you just never know. Better safe than sorry. So let's install this plugin and let's activate it. And now we're gonna head into the template under theme builder. Houses is the one we're working with. And again, I created all this in a previous tutorial, link to in the card up above and the description down below if you wanna check out how to create this loop and add advanced custom fields to it. So here we have our loop example, our loop template. This is what we just saw in bigger form. Right here, each of these uses this template. And the reason we only have one here is because we just build one example and then it loops through that example over and over for as many times as you set it to. And our advanced custom field entries fields are right here. As I hover over them, you can see them outlined. There's just no data there. So let's change the preview. Let's go to the gears, preview settings. Let's change it from Dilbert Street to a different one, Garfield Avenue, apply. Now this one has the data in it, and these are the advanced custom fields. These are the ones we wanna hide if they're empty. So let's click on one. Let's go to advanced. Let's choose dynamic conditions. The dynamic tag is the tag that we're checking for to see if it's there or not. So we're gonna choose the dynamic tag of ACF field. We're going to choose the key of asking price. So if the asking price field, and then we choose to show or hide, we can do either, depending on what your situation is. And the condition I'm gonna choose in this case is empty. So if the asking price field is empty, then we're going to hide it. Same thing for square feet. Go to advanced, then conditions, choose ACF field again, show or hide, choose hide. Oh, sorry, for the field, have to choose the actual field. Square footage, condition is empty. And now we have them both set up. So if they're empty, they're hidden. And we even have an eyeball on the right-hand side, which helps us see at a glance which fields are conditioned. And you can see what the conditions are if you go to advanced and dynamic conditions. So let's update. Save and close. We don't need to add a condition for display in this case because we add the loop directly to a page. And if we go back to our page that has our loop, go to Ella with Elementor. And now we have our display conditions applied. And when 
an area is empty, when a field is empty, they're just completely gone. That's why you see the top height of the text is the top height of the field over here because it's just gone. It's not just an empty field. The entire little widget is gone, which we've hidden, which is what we want. And just one other quick example. Let's bring back the Dilbert field. So let's remove one from Garfield, remove one from Calvin and Hobbes, and let's take a look at how that looks. Let's preview this on the front end. So we have it right here. And then let's go exit to dashboard. Let's go to our posts, go to Dilbert. I think I said Dilbert. It's Dilbert. Let's add that back in there. There we go. Update that. Garfield. Let's take out the asking price. And for Calvin and Hobbes, let's take out the square footage. Let's come back out here and refresh. And we have our updated view now, and we see everything is spaced as we want it to. Now, this is not a big deal when it's just one or two ACF fields. What if you have a whole list? Then your designs are really thrown off if there's a big empty gap, which we can solve by using this plugin. Or if you have images, featured images are dynamic. What if you don't have one added to that listing for whatever reason? With this, we can make sure the text or the title is right at the very top as if there's no blank widget there and that really makes sure your designs stay intact even when data is missing. And next up, check out this tutorial up here where we build the custom loop that you saw in this tutorial. We use Elementor Custom Skin and Advanced Custom Fields and from scratch I show you how to build this loop with Advanced Custom Fields data in the loop. So make sure you check that out and then check out this one down here where we build a complete real estate listing website with all kinds of features. So make sure you check that out. It's an awesome tutorial. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.